By now, all accountants are aware of the seismic shifts that are happening in the profession as we speak. What's less obvious is what exactly this means for both practitioner and customer. Accounting Web is here at the Ames Conference in Birmingham and we've spoken to some people in the know, both vendor and accountant, to try and get our finger on the pulse. If, I, if I'm an accountant, you know, five or six years away from retirement, I'm basically saying, you know, what's the point of me changing? Why would I bother? You know, I'm on the verge of riding off into the sunset. Yeah, sure. What, what would you say to someone like that? I mean, how, how hard is it for you to convince someone like that, that that it's still necessary to innovate and to be ahead of the curve? Quite frankly, the uh, practitioner will want to hand on their practice to somebody else. So they don't want to hand on a practice that's perhaps set in 10 to 20 years behind the scenes. Plus it is actually quite exciting to take on new technology and new practices. Um, and in five years is a long time, so you can get quite a bit out of it and then end up with a practice that's pretty modern and saleable. So you get a better price for it. And um, it's, it's something that we, we spoke about a little bit earlier, I mean it's, it's often overlooked but uh, working is also meant to be fun like you say and I mean you, you mentioned that you enjoy the work that you do and, yes. uh, and how, much, how much a part of that is, is the innovation and the, you know, the w working with new things? I suppose it's, it goes back to when I started, it was, oh, I've always taken on new technology but also learnt how to avoid it as well when I needed to. But it's kept, I, I'm one of those people that finds a lot of the accounting and number crunching quite boring after a couple of decades, so I look for something to make it easier so that I can I suppose, spend more time with my clients, which is what I really enjoy doing, is face-to-face -face work with my clients, not sitting over a spreadsheet. The buzzword, um, you know, when, when it comes to technology these days is you often hear about the quantified self, you know, my phone enables me to, to, to track how many steps I take in a day, that type of stuff. Um, how much does, does the cloud enable that kind of uh, enable an accountant to quantify their own practice actually in terms of which clients are valuable, which clients aren't, who can they, who should they prioritize? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question. What we see with the cloud first of all is that the cloud takes away the data pain that everyone's been having. So the time they would typically waste on inputting or processing data is now spent analyzing that data. So when you talk about quantifying, they can look at what their client's spend patterns are, their buy patterns, and ultimately in turn, the value-added services that the accountant can deliver to their client, they're going to start evaluate can we get more profit or more revenue from that particular client and give them a better experience because they've been given the time back by cloud technology. Um, so yeah, we see, we see a big shift in, in enabling, as I say, partners to be able to quantify better and deliver more to their clients. The perception by the public is that all accountants are qualified and yet that has dramatically changed. When I started, there were very few unqualified practices about, whereas, um, uh, whereas now I would say there's a, probably the majority of practices are people who are unqualified accountants. They're qualified by experience and again have taken on technology to do the job that perhaps a qualified accountant would do years ago. So yes, it's certainly changed a great deal over the, even, even the past five to ten years. It's changed dramatically. The day-to-day -day laborious tasks of data entry and processing has been taken away. Almost invisible accounting is going to be happening with systems talking to each other. What that means for the profession is to then overlay more professional services, how they can offer more value and proactive value and insights to their clients, which I think naturally will drive more client uh, retention and more profit and in turn help them reach new prospects and grow their business. I can now um, liaise and work with the client over stuff that's valuable, over stuff that's really means something to them. And from at my stage of life as well, it's meant that I've been able to go home more and spend more time at home or more time with Clearbooks. There's no way I'd ever had the time to spend with Clearbooks and work with these guys had I still been running in a traditional practice from 10 years ago.